This is Lindsay Mann with cloud9stampers.com and I'm going to share with you these really fun triangle pieces and how you can paper piece a card front together to make a fun monochromatic look. Let's get started. I made this card using the 6x6 new in color designer series paper um, and I've obviously gone through quite a few of the colors already but it's really fun because then you can just pull in whatever card base you need to be able to coordinate with that designer series paper. So I brought in the new triangle dies. These are called stitched triangle dies. And there's a few different shapes that you can play with, but I just use the regular, I don't even know what kind of triangle that is, standard triangle. And I cut two from each one. So I have two different designer series papers that we're pulling from. So next what we're going to do is bring in the smaller layer, which is vellum. And we're just going to kind of piece together how we want this to look. Probably something along those lines. So now we're going to use our adhesive to hold all the triangles down. And my recommendation is to adhere the vellum to this triangle and then layer it like this so that these two triangles are holding this vellum in place and you don't need to put vellum behind, sorry, adhesive behind that vellum. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then I just use dimensionals to pop up that one triangle. This one you can see is overhanging. So I'm going to flip it over and use my scissors to trim off the excess like that. Next, we're going to bring in the greeting. So I'm just bringing in a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm using the stamp set Ridiculously Awesome. I love the font in this. And we're going to bring in the coordinate, Coordinating Magenta Madness. Oh, I haven't used this ink pad yet, so it's stiff. Uh, next, I'm going to bring in that greeting. And we're going to stamp it onto the Whisper White. Ooh, that's a pretty color. So, so now we'll bring in our snips again and we're going to fussy cut that out so that we can layer it onto our card front. So this is what it looks like when I've got it cut out. And now I'm going to put adhesive on the part that's going to stick to the popped up triangle and put dimensionals behind the part that is going to go to the flat. That way it won't have an uneven appearance. All right, so we have a Whisper White card base, and we'll fold that, and then we're going to use our adhesive to layer that card front. The final step is we're going to add our embellishments, and I'm just using some rhinestones to do that because I wanted to be able to coordinate with any of the colors, and so I'm going to pick those up and add them onto the card front. So here you can see two finished cards. They are the same design, just different colors, and it's a great way to be able to use up a stack of six by six in colors just and try out your new favorite colors. Have fun.